So you guys know I love my Scion. It's just a fun car. I like it. It's versatile. I do a lot of things with it and I really like it, but I felt like I wanted something different. So I've been in the auction today and this one was a little bit different because I had to go through a broker and uh, it's still serving to be kind of difficult right now because I haven't received my invoice, but I won a car and I haven't got to pay for it yet because they haven't sent me an invoice. I guess there was something wrong with Copart or something. But that means I'm letting my TC go. I'm selling it. I honestly love this car. I, I, I like everything about it, but I just wanted a little bit bigger car and just something different. So when I bid on cars today, um, I won one in a different state through a broker. And this one is highly modified. Damage doesn't look too bad. I honestly don't know because it's sight unseen, but this car is way more powerful than this car, than my Scion. It's bigger than my Scion. It's, like I said, highly modified. It's all-wheel drive. <laughs> and on top of all of this and a bunch of other modifications, it's wide-bodied. It has a Rocket Bunny kit on it. <laughs> So this is a gamble and I am excited. I felt like I got a really good price on this thing. Um, my dad retired last week, so I asked him if he wanted to ride along because we're driving to Baltimore tomorrow to go pick this up. And not like, there's two Baltimore locations. One of them is really close to me. This one is actually in the butthole of Baltimore. <laughs> so being all wheel drive, I need to go get my trailer. I gotta do it, check my truck over, check the trailer over. This is uh, about a two and a half hour, two hour, 45 minute drive. The trailer, let's make it three hours to get there and back. And uh, well, three hours to get there and three hours back. But I'm excited. And this is this car, I'm not gonna be able to get it legal for a while because of the way the broker works. I won't have the title for like what they say three to six weeks so we're gonna have to wait on that but I can do stuff in the meantime and I also do not know if it'll pass PA inspection because of the wide body and it has wheels that match and everything I just don't know so we're gonna find out and you guys can go along with me for the journey also still don't have the title for the Kia got the title for the C10 I haven't got the title for the Kia uh, I haven't got the paint to paint the wing for the Kia, and the stereo came, I put it in, and it didn't work. Waited six weeks. Six weeks for this radio came from China. It was really nice. It turned on, everything worked, no sound. What's, what good is a nice radio if there's no sound? So I guess I gotta ship that thing back to China, which is gonna cost me, which is stupid because it wasn't my fault, and then on top of that, I just... I ordered the uh, used radio that is the same exact one that's in it. I'm just like, I'm not messing around now. Uh, I need to get a radio in it, so I ordered one on eBay, and it'll be here soon. So since this is potentially going to be a keeper, I spent more on this car than like I normally do. Um, you know, getting a little better with what I do and you know flipping some cars and stuff so it's going pretty well and I'm not saying that I'm gonna get into top dollar cars but this is a really nice car and it's done up and it, the damage is not bad from what I can see but winning bid was actually 5400 now with broker fees and everything it comes out to 60 was it 6625 6628 6628 dollars it's not bad for this ride I can tell you that right now so I'm just hoping that this thing is decent there are signs to me that says that it could be beat like ran rough but I also priced parts and if potentially I need to put an engine in it it's not a big deal so I'll leave you with that
that tidbit of information, go ahead and drop a guess down below before I go get it. See if you get it right. Video her from a distance and she's in her grandma clothing. What do you think of this new car? You think so? You really do? Yeah, I guess it's alright. Okay. She's also sick. Yeah. So. That's why the kitties are over here. They don't want to get it. Huh? You don't want to get it. Alright, so a lot of firsts with this car. I had to wire transfer the money to the broker. I've never done that before. So now I'm just waiting for it to clear and then I'm ready to go and go pick up the car then. Uh, like I said, my dad's riding with me, so probably won't talk much. He don't like to be on video. And uh, I'm not taking my drone because I'm going into Baltimore, right in the middle, I guess. This is where this place is at. It's in Baltimore. Um, but. So, I transferred my money over an hour ago, I believe. Tried calling the bank. It's their bank, Citibank. It says they opened at 9. It's now 10.30. It says they're closed. I can't get a hold of anybody. So, I, there's three numbers on this broker's website. I called all three of them. They were supposed to open at 9. No, nobody's answering. I can't get a hold of anybody. Now, I'm not, I didn't get scammed. This is a broker that's right off of Copart's website. So it's not like, you know, I went through some weird company. I used a broker that is listed on Copart to use. So I, I need to go pick this car up today. I took off of work to go get this thing. I'm just, right now, I am just up to here. Finally, after calling all three numbers multiple times, I got a hold of somebody and he said, give me five minutes to look into it. It's cleared, it's mine. I gotta go get it now. <laughs> Such a gamble. <laughs> Such a gamble. Not a cheap one either. Stay tuned. We should be there to get it very soon. It's coming at you. Battery's dead. Things on empty. I can't get out of it now. I'm hitting fender. The main damage on this whole vehicle is, well, this wheel, which I was hoping wasn't bent, is bent. And uh, there's three control arms in the back. And oh, that one, that one snapped. I just have it sitting there. And that one are bent. So all three of these are bent. 
and then uh, the sway bar end links busted off. And that's really the only damage I, besides the rear bumper, right there. So we temporarily, I have it jacked up on the trailer here. We're gonna grind the paint off of that control arm that's busted and we'll weld that together so I can drive this up to my house without uh, <laughs> wrecking. <laughs> yeah. Still not perfect, but we welded that arm back together so I can temporarily move it. And actually the front end has way more camera on it than this side does. There you can see it. Not bad. Everything's bent, so. Okay, so the AC wasn't working, but the compressor was kicking on. Threw a charge in it, lo and behold, cold air. So, the charge was low, which tells me there may be a leak somewhere, but the air conditioning works. So, that is a good thing. I noticed a nut missing on this strut. Uh, there's a lot of stuff just missing. Like, this piece I just threw in here, but um, it's just sitting there. It needs to go back on. There's a lot of bolts missing. This whole front bumper must have been a replacement. Look at how the paint's just cracking off of this. So, and it, it, it's pretty rough, but we might still use this bumper. Uh, it needs some work. The body kit needs some attention. The body needs sealed because they just cut it and didn't seal it. They actually cut it nicely. That wheel, is it rubbing? No, it's close, but definitely not tracking right. All adjustable control arms in the back, they're aftermarket. Uh, I honestly, this car is way too low. Thank God it's on coilovers, because I'm gonna have to raise this thing up. Now it looks really good, but to get up here, it was cringe. I scraped on everything, the whole underside, you just, and it was bad. So this thing needs to be raised in order for me to drive it. Now I'm not talking like a foot or anything, but I'm talking like a full inch. And you notice the tires are tucked up in. And now this one's not sitting right. So this one doesn't really matter, but look how that's tucked. That needs to come down out. I think there may be something bent up front here on this side. I don't know, it, it actually kind of drives good, but that's got a lot of camber to it and it shouldn't and this side has some camber but not near as much as that side so yeah this thing needs raised up for sure to make it drivable it looks like this side sits a little higher than the other side did you can see this is coming off we need we need to address all this stuff we're gonna have to do some paint work but mechanically, the thing runs good. It sounds good. It sounds really good. And it looks mean. I love this. I, I think it looks really good. Now, the main reason I, don't get me wrong, the only damage pretty much is these control arms and that rear bumper. Uh, they probably count the front bumper. That shouldn't total this car out. I think why this was totaled is because they replaced the driver's seat with a racing seat. Now. Honestly, I was I was like I'm taking this thing out which I still am because this car should have heated seats and These seats are not expensive to buy the factory ones This seat is really comfortable. So this might be going in my Z and it's actually in really good shape given it needs cleaned But it's in really good shape now. They like pretty much Harbor Freight welded this thing uh, Look at these goober welds on this and the bracketry how they did it uh, and they didn't line it up, so 
right, right here's the bolt that's supposed to go in and you can see they were trying to make it fit but look how far off it is so they didn't attach it here is everything to plug in the original seat this would be the airbag wires right there i could probably plug an airbag eliminator in that plug right there and uh make the airbag light go away so but besides that man i got a heck of a deal on this thing it does run good it runs real good it's amazing now this can's in this empty i didn't even feel what the what the air conditioning felt like now oh it feels wonderful so uh, i'm hoping it just needed a charge for some reason or another like maybe they had the condenser out or something uh but yeah aem aem intakes um what are these volks volks racing ray engineered wheels there are two piece not three piece there's a lot of weights on the inside of that one um there is a possibility we can get a barrel for this back one since these are two piece that we can get this barrel and replace it because it's bent right here where it's knocked in tires are all in good shape lots of tread left uh this is <laughs> arc exhaust which is not a cheap exhaust at all that undervalance has like three screws hanging it on that needs to be redone this wing is falling off it's just two-sided taped and it needs to be redone the roof is wrapped and it doesn't look bad we're gonna clean this thing up right now and uh, see how it looks and on the inside like I said right here you can see it they cut it they never did reseal it and I don't feel anything up in there to seal it I, I hope it's metal it feels like it could be aluminum but I don't, I don't think these bodies were aluminum but this, this thing is bad and i don't mean bad like horrible i mean like there's a lot of work done to it maybe not all correctly but this is going to be a sharp looking ride like this thing's awesome now i gotta turn that down now it's getting too cold this thing has a clunk in the front it has adjustable steering uh the sport mode down here I have it I, I did customize steering and, and made this normal with sport mode it has the paddle shifters now I believe it has rev hang because there's a vacuum line broke off of this intake now I plugged it so that we're not getting unmetered air now but now the crankcase is open what is this glass here's a little bit of broken glass on the dash so I'm wondering if this didn't have a a broken uh, dash at one time um, it had an aftermarket stereo at one point in time there's wires in the trunk but this has Bose stereo and it sounds really good so I'm not doing anything with that I need to get some fuel for this thing um, sunroof works <laughs> let's clean this puppy up there's really not much to go over right now at this moment 
I like how they took the inner fender wells out because they have it so low so that all of this road grime and stuff goes right to the filter. I like that on both sides. Unfortunately, I do have to raise this thing up. I got to figure out some way to get this fender liner sealed that it, if anything, at least seal this section off in the front. If I just, I, I know on the Z, it's a two piece inner fender and the front piece is separate from the back piece, but the front bumper's hardly even held on. So th there's a lot of work, like little tedious things that needs to be done. Got some really big wheel spacers in the front and some medium sized ones in the back. The spacing looks really good, but I don't know if they'll let me pass it like that. I don't know, but these, the whole body kit's held on with pop rivets. And I think we're gonna switch this over to uh, riv nuts with hardware because it's just, it, it'd be nicer. If you gotta pull something off, you don't have to drill out all those rivets and there's rivets everywhere. So riv nuts and hardware, I'm gonna have to get some good stuff to do that. Um, it's just a, a lot of small stuff and the suspend the only thing that really needs to be fixed to get this thing inspected besides peeling this beautiful window tin off i know it sucks pennsylvania please change your laws i need to get all three of those control arms like i said they're aftermarket so i'm gonna have to look them up that wheel i gotta try to get a barrel for that and that's pretty much all we need to get this thing inspected but there's a lot of work to be done Bump, uh, this is trico paint. It's the same color as my Z. So uh, instead of having Jerry do it, I think I'm I'm gonna experiment with my my painting on this. Doing trico, it's expensive paint, and if you don't do it right, it don't look right. But I mean, his paint job didn't match perfect either, and this thing's not perfect. So I might as well try on this. And uh, there, there's a lot of things that need to be done. Uh, suspension wise, we got to lift it. Uh, it's got arc exhaust on it. It's got AEM intakes. I don't even know what all is done. It had a stereo in it, obviously. I don't know what kind of suspension's on it. I haven't actually got a good look at that yet. Uh, it has an aftermarket strut bar that is uh, made in Japan. Cusco. I, I don't know if that's a good brand or not. But we're missing a nut in the strut up here. They're all in over there. Um <laughs> It's just a lot of little tedious things. That wheel looks a lot better now that I welded that arm back together. So this thing has slotted rotors on all four corners. You can see the little bit of a spacer back there. The shocks are Sports Eye Intelligence, and they are made in Japan. So we'll have to get a better look at those. And unfortunately, this one over here on this side is bent, but that might be savable. If you see how it's bent, uh, we can take the other side off and try to bend it back is what I'm saying. I think that might be the way to go because I'm sure you can't just buy one of these. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you like this? Do you think this is worthy of taking the spot for the Scion? Because it is. Do you like the color choice for the rims? All different colors. Every one of these wheels are the same wheels. And I actually have that center cap, it's inside the car. And there is a lug wrench or a lug socket for these lugs. So yes, every one of these are the same, even though they're all different colors. Uh, two piece rims. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I personally love this thing. I think it looks bad, but before it can replace the Scion, we gotta get that stuff fixed. There's a clunk in the steering, not a bad one, but something is loose in the steering. Uh, and it just, it's not drivable at this height, although it looks so good. Unfortunately, I live on a steep hill and it just does not work for me. It sucks. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this thing. I think it's bad. I think it's really bad, I love it. Also, I really like that racing seat. I don't know what brand that is, but it's so comfortable. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, and it's in really good shape. Why they put that in here, I don't know. I haven't even, I wonder how these seats feel. Oh yeah, these, these stock seats are actually really nice. 
Very nice. Ow! Just ran across this gem right here. At 113,000 miles, they, on the curbside, they ran over something on the road and there was damage to the car. Test drive vehicle and inspect vehicle for damage. Geico Insurance instructed to replace exhaust system, cross member, engine cradle, and knuckle with alignment complete. Declined exhaust replacement. So this thing just had a stabilizer assembly, a subframe, and I don't know what else this is, but parts and labor. $4,458 just done to this thing not that long ago. <laughs> this thing's got a new subframe underneath it. Wow. But we'll get into this some other time. This is not going to get touched for a little while because we're jumping onto the C10. So you'll get to see this thing in the background. It's so pretty sitting there anyways. It looks, that's pretty. We'll just leave it there. I like that. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom wants me to rejuvenate her wide body. And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrapped. What do you have to say for your fan base? Huh? That's it? Yeah? Tell them. Yeah! I know where this lazy cat's at. Oh! Maybe not. You was behind the TV and you ain't supposed to be back there. Huh? Oh yeah? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.